everyone, it's Heidi from fluttedbyheidi.wordpress.com back again here with another Sunday scoring project and this time it's a napkin fold um, card which you can see here has got a belly band around it and um, in order to open the card all you do is take off the belly band and out it pops. Um, obviously it's quite a big card and you can't, probably can't see it very well but it actually will stand up with it, um, and lean up against uh, if you put it like so, it leans up against something um, and so actually look, looks rather attractive um, when, when you have it out uh, and you give it to your recipient and they don't have to understand what to do. Obviously you could also put a, a gift card in there or some money or anything else that you wanted to as well. So this one originally that I made um, is made from a 12 inch by 12 inch uh, piece of card because it's 11 by 11 inches that, what, that you start with. However, I thought it would be useful for those people that haven't got 12 inch card to hand uh, if I actually made one using some um, 8 inch card stock, um, so I, as in standard UK A4 and it should also fit US A4 as well. So in order to make it, uh, what you need is a piece of card stock and I've already cut a piece here to 8 inches by 8 inches. And once you've got your card stock, the first thing you need to do is score it. And the scoring on this is very straightforward. The original one I made, I used the diagonal scoring plate, which isn't available anymore. So I thought it would be useful if I just showed, showed you um, how to do it on using the scoring tool instead. So you're quite simply going to score at two inches on each of the four sides um, of your, your card stock. So just come in and rotate. Obviously you could score at two inches and, and, um, and six inches if you wanted to, um, but obviously just as easy to rotate it round. So those are your main score lines and what you're now going to do is mark the midpoint at four inches on each of the four sides. And you literally just need to make a, like a little nick just as you feel it start to catch the uh, edge of the cardstock. You could mark it with a pencil if you wanted to and then rub out uh, um, afterwards, but because you're going to be scoring it actually you won't see these little marks um, once you've scored them. So having done all four sides, what you now need to do is line up your cardstock and you're going to join the, the two score marks that uh, you made first of all and score and then you're going to line up the two marks that you've just made at four inches in, along the groove and score again and then just turn and repeat. So as I said, it is a very simple one to do. Um, I made the original one for a fancy fold display that I was doing for my fellow demonstrators, um, which has been, been a lot of fun actually, and I've, I thoroughly enjoyed doing it. And then we had some discussion, as I mentioned in my blog post, about what this was actually called. And several people called it a snapdragon. And I remembered those as being like the number changers. Um, but yes, I mean, it, it, there are lots of different variations. I've just kind of gone for what I think is the most common name um, when I've put together my list of fancy folds. Um, so that's all of your scoring that, um, done. Move your scoreboard out of the way. And then you're simply going to fold and burnish all of those score lines. So on these ones, fold them in first and then fold them back on themselves. In a good strong burnish and because this is quite dark um, this uh, this cardstock which is Bermuda Bay you do need to give it a good crease the darker cardstocks are um, obviously with, with the dye they really are really strong and firm um, which is why you get such good creases um, on these when you when you fold and burnish and the last one and that's your basic um, folding done and all you're going to do now, in order to get it to fold, is to fold the sides in and then fold, you can see that those back on themselves. Do the same on the side, on the other sides. Fold them in and back on themselves. And you'll get that effect. And then all you need to do is fold your four corners back out 
and this is where it's really helpful to come in and give another good old burnish and this and that's this is why you need a belly band because it really does kind of spring out with a good strong card as you've got here so that's your basic card actually already made um, and then all you need to do now is decorate and in order to do that I've got some um, using some of the DSP that, that's uh, in the, just the straightforward rights stack and you're going to cut three pieces which is three, three and three quarters by three and three quarters and then cut them in half diagonally and again we're doing paper to card so all you need is your snail and you're then going to decorate so what I find is actually easiest is to open it out and fold it over and do these outside pieces first And you just stick those all around. I said I didn't think you'd need to see me uh, cutting these, um, but I've literally just did them on on the trimmer, um, cut them, cut the squares, cut them in half, and uh, on the diagonal. Um, and you can use as much or as little DSP as you like um, for these. Um, so that's the outside. And it, uh, before I actually decorate. Um, when I decorate the inside, I, um, you'll see there that you can just see those pretty flowers just coming um, up either side there. And actually on this one I decided to, I was actually going to do it all the way florals. I used the stripes um, on the other one, you'll see. You see I've got the stripes in the reverse there. Um, but I decided actually just to go for all florals t today, uh, which I thought were rather pretty. piece in half. <laughs> so all I'm going to do is come round and put each of these triangles onto the corner. I think what's lovely about these DSP stacks is that you've got some on, um, either on the reverse of each one you've got quite a sort of pretty um, sort of pattern and then you've got something that's quite sort of striking and strong on the other side. So when you're doing these just remember it's these two panels here that you're going to see so you can just adhere the triangles like so. And then you're going to cut a piece of whisper white for the centre and the centre is uh, again three and three quarters by three and three quarters. You could if you wanted put some DSP um, in the centre as well if you wanted to. Um, I haven't, um, not least for because it, it covers most of it up. Um, you could cut a, um, you know, or gut a, bit, a piece out of the middle if you wanted to um, and that certainly can um, work very effectively. Um, but for speed on, on this video, because the sticking takes quite a bit of time to do anyway, um, I've uh, tried not to do anything extra that might take any more time. Okay, so there you go, there's your basic uh, card. Um, as I said, we need a piece of Whisper White for the centre here. And before I actually stick that in, I'm going to actually stamp that. And what I thought um, I would use is um, a bit of an old, an old favourite actually, which is the Papillon Potpourri, which is this set here, which has these lovely five different butterflies which match with the punches and um, some little stamens. And basically, I just thought you could have some pretty butterflies in each corner and these flowers are actually obviously go very well with um, with the designs that are the, that are on the DSP um, so what I th what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp a butterfly in each of these side panels just decide which way I'm going to have up here we go 
and then I'm going to um, use a sentiment um, in, the, in the middle of that, um, whatever you, you would want to use. I'm going to leave it blank for the moment, I haven't decided what I'm going to use this card for just yet. Um, but you can always put a sentiment, and as I showed you the other day, if you stamp the sentiment direct once it's in the card and it doesn't quite go right, stamp it again on a spare piece of card and punch it out and then layer it up and it'll nobody will ever know um, what, uh, what what's happened. So there's your basic card and you'll see once that folds up it's a beautiful floral effect that's just going to open up um, on there. And so now what's left to do is to make our decoration for the front. So this is the belly band and this is the one I used here and you'll see that we've got the heart with a circle around it. Now rather than punching the circle first, um, you'll have seen lots of people do this I'm sure, I'm going to use the Elegant Butterfly Punch which we've been using and I'm going to punch um, one of these, put it all the way in and punch it out of some of the coordinating cardstock. Then I'm going to come in with, this is the two inch circle punch and just centre that up in the middle and it literally, if you're careful, it just fits there. And then um, it, it is now retired, but you know, lots of people do a two and three eighths uh, scalloped punch. Just come in with a piece of, of, I just wanted to go for some white cardstock. And then all you need to do is take your dimensionals um, and sometimes you might need some of the little bits. So you just see I've been coming to the end of this one here. Um, just some little bits of dimensionals from around the edge for those smaller pieces. But I'll just cut one of those in half just to support it. When it, um, I am, I don't use lots of dimensionals, you don't need to put lots on. But when it's a, um, you, when you've got an aperture, you need something to give it a little bit more substance. So all I'm going to do is layer that up on the front there. And then we're going to use the same um, card and actually just cut a strip, which is, um, well, the, the easiest way is to actually cut it a one inch strip and then um, trim it down once you've actually put it round the belly band. There's nothing worse with a belly band than creating one and then finding it doesn't um, doesn't quite meet. So what I'm going to do now is there's my card. I'm going to take my cards, my strip of, of card stock. So that's just a one inch strip from um, from from a sheet of A4, and I'm going to wrap it round. Not too tightly though, because although you want it to hold it in place, you don't want it to be impossible to get on, on or off. So I've kind of left that, you see there's almost a, sort of a, little, uh, a little depth in there. And so having done that, I'm just going to literally cut. That's actually going to come to the front of my card, so the back is a nice, neat finish. And I'm going to use um, some of my snail um, on, on this here. So literally, sorry, I'm not going to use my snail at all, I'm going to use my fuse um, and just put that over like so. Okay, so you can see there, that's it's, it's snug, but if you push it down, you see there's a, there's a bit of a gap. And then all you need to do on the back there is just put a couple of dimensionals and to make sure that it's lined up, it's easier to put them onto the card. And then line up your butterfly in the middle, clear some of the debris away and there you have a card, you can add a sentiment to that if you want and actually what you might like to, to use um, is one of the new items that we've got coming along which is a fabulous sent sentiment set which is this one here called Thoughtful Banners and you'll see there are loads of words here and some beautiful banners and you're thinking ah oh, it means I've got to buy some frame lights. No, there is a coordinating punch to go with it as well. So all you need is a scrap of card. So for this I've just got a piece, simple piece of cardstock here and I've just chosen, thank you for the middle, so I'm literally just going to push, stamp, um, thank you on here 
and I was going to stamp a banner but I can't find my block. It would probably have been easier if I had um, So there's my thank you and um, I shall come in with my punch and this is a lovely layered one you'll see here, comes in like so and that comes in and what you can do is if you take a scrap of card here and punch out the lower banner, this one here, you will see that in fact all the layering has been done for you. So it actually, I've done it the wrong way around. <laughs> so let me quickly do that again. I've punched the wrong one. So I'm going to come with this one first. So there's my underneath one. I'm going to then come, come on with my plain banner. banner. Words. Thank you. And obviously you could curve those because they're photopolymer if you wanted to as well. And then when you put that through and punch, that will now beautifully layer up on there. So all you need to do is use a little bit of, um, I'm actually going to use a bit of fuse because that's to hand. I'm going to layer that one flat on top of there and then I'm going to add a dimensional to the back and that is just going to go on the top there of my card. So bloopers and all, sorry about that folks. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and that you too will make a napkin fold card for someone and that they enjoy as well. Talk to you soon. Bye bye.